Hi yeah, guys, uh, it's nothing special about this video. Just want to relate a personal experience, uh, account of things that happened to me today, actually. Um, you know, basically for a while now, I've been in a somewhat purgatorial state of mind with regards to uh, what I ought to do in my life, uh, i.e., the direction it should take, whatever that means. But anyway. Uh, out of the blue, a female, quote-unquote, friend of mine uh, called me. I thought it was thoughtful, and I do try to take people, both men and women, on an individual basis. And uh, we got to talking, and we hadn't talked in several months, and <clears throat> eventually got around to, somehow, to certain issues um, pertaining to men and women, as often the case in discussions between men and women. And uh, whilst initially she seemed quite supportive, well, not supportive, but uh, you know, showed some some modicum of concern or whatever, however you want to term it, for uh, the possibility that maybe I'm not doing that great at this current moment in time or whatever. Eventually, it turned into um, she just started ranting at me. What was the trigger? Well, I think I, I, w I was honest with her, and I, I told her that over these past couple of months in particular, I have uh, undergone a personal evolution of thought and mind, and that my perception of the world now, even though sort of in a vestigial manner I, I had perceived these things to be so for quite some time, it had finally crystallized, and that having done so, having having uh, experienced this crystallization of thought, sort of a synthesis of of, of all these experiences, a synthesis, a synthesis of understanding, that it sort of all made sense, um, that it essentially you could break it down into uh, well, the status of the male and really how the sad state of affairs we're in. <clears throat> the minute I started being honest about that, I thought, well, why not? You know, be honest with her. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a human being, and she seems to feign some kind of concern for your well-being. It just turned into a rat. I mean, it 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 it, it was like a like auto robot. Then she starts talking about the pay gap. Then she started talking about some. How, how horrible women have it and how great men have it. Uh, she mentioned some article, which I thought I might, I might cover at some point in time in the future about... Yeah, I didn't really have the time to translate it. I don't know if it's available in English. Uh, some German article about <clears throat> how German women are allegedly the most ill-treated in Europe and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. And this rant about how, you know, we have to pop you know, this large thing out of our cunts, her own words, mind you, said, well, you know, I, I've learned my lessons by now from YouTube, from the internet primarily, but to some extent, some degree from real life as well, and I'll say, I tell you, I just wished her a pleasant evening, I was polite, there wasn't much else to say, I mean, she just started ranting at me, and, I mean, claiming how angry I made her, and I, I had... I didn't try to make her angry. I was just telling her what I thought. Made me realize uh, something <clears throat> even further down the path of crystallization of, of, or synthesis of thought, if, if, uh, if you will, that, uh, you know, I hate to keep on bringing her up, but it, it, she's the only person I can think of. I mean, I don't know her. She's on the Internet. Girls' rights, what? I, these women must really be accountable on one hand. Uh, I've certainly seen it with acquaintance women that I've much, much less um, familiar with or not quote unquote friends with and uh, it's 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 the minute you, you're honest about the way things are and the way you, you personally perceive things, I mean you know, all bets are off. You just you just end up getting slammed, and that's it. I mean, the, the rhetoric, the ranting, 
I mean, she was <laughs> screaming so loud, I could I had to <clears throat> take my mobile. I must have had it, you know, nearly half a meter away from my ear. Anyway. <clears throat> but I think this is uh, quite indicative of, of essentially what we're up against, that even people that claim to be our friends, in particular women, that you know, we were familiar with, um, if you if you point out the the unjust state of affairs, <clears throat> you're gonna have some problems. Um, most things, yeah, you, no problem. But if you mention that one of the issues that upsets you is some issue related to men's rights or the lack thereof, it's it's a rat. I mean, then she started going on about poor people pouring battery acid on girls' faces, and so, well, does that happen in any Western country? Not to my knowledge. Oh, and the West is so much better. I, I don't know. I, you know, this, there's nothing special about this video. It just made me realize this, this very, this personal encounter today that really all bets are off. There's no, cannot confide in a female about what you think and how, and what I believe is the correct perception of uh, the reality we live in with regards to these issues. If you do so, be prepared to be skewered. Um, the other interesting thing, well, interesting, it's all very euphemistic interesting. One other thing she mentioned <clears throat> was that she quote unquote knew plenty of guys who were very happy in their roles and relationships and their roles in society. And I don't know. Um, you know, it's hackneyed and tried as it is, ignorance is bliss. Uh, are women, are men who fulfill these roles and actively pursue these roles and engage in these roles, are they truly content? I don't know. Maybe they are. Um, and really, if they're really content, even though they're hurting the rest of us, I'm not going to tell them not to do it. But um, I don't buy that be honest. I think a lot of men are just going along with things because they just don't know anything else. And I've talked about this or touched on it. I mean, having that alternative path when when the worker drone, worker drone, slave to society, slave to women model uh, no longer works, it's tricky. So I'm a bit skeptical about claims of, you know, men being completely content in their so-called relationships or marriages. I mean, there are no doubt there's some men who are not pensive or, or pensive enough or thoughtful enough or reflective rather enough of these things that maybe it just goes over their head. I don't know. But um, it was very telling today. Um, this happened just a few hours ago, mind you. Um, but uh, she basically hung up on me. I, I didn't I didn't argue at all. I just listened and I, I said I, you know, I wished her well uh, with regards to her job and some uh, business ex job related business excursion that was cancelled and I said I hope that works out for I incredible you know that um, women like thy name, thy name is frailty well <laughs> frailty in the sense of uh, they really just have no control over themselves it just it was incredible I mean it wasn't shocking but the fact that she seemed to be seemed initially to be concerned hadn't talked to me in a while and wanted to see what was going on and then the turn it took once I was, you know, honest about things that have happened over these last past uh, couple of months. Hmm. Very telling. But um, it, goes to go, it just goes to show, um, guys, that <laughs> you better be careful about who you tell this stuff to in real life. Um, men, you might be able to tell some men. Uh, but I'd probably even be careful with that. I, I think... As much as I hate to use the term, we're essentially behind enemy lines. And to the extent that one needs to acclimate to the way things are and adjust and, and blend in, I mean, you need your camouflage. Now, I'm not, I think withholding, unfortunately, withholding your opinion about things when it's asked with regards to men's issues, it, it might save you unfortunately a lot of grief. Um, it's uh, it's tricky, isn't it? Um, I don't, with very close male friends I, I might mention it, but even in, in this few instances that I have, 
I'm often met with glances of bafflement and uh, amusement. So I don't know. It's, uh, well, to suffice, suffice to say, it's a lonely world we live in. And the, the number of women who will actually even, li I'm not even necessarily agree, but listen to what you have to say before it turns to some rant about the pay gap or how women have to, you know, pop things out of their cunts or whatever. It's, uh, it's vanishingly small, I suspect. I, I, I've never met any of them in my re real life. I, I know, I know of, uh, Girl Rights What. I know of another one on YouTube, but her opposition to feminism is, is primarily religious, I believe, so, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it's, uh, I just, you know, I think we we really need to be careful about who we tell these things to. Um, and to be fair, I could have suspected that a reaction like that might have come. Um, maybe I was testing the waters. I don't know. I'm not sure. But there you have it, folks. Uh, how many women would actually listen to... Uh, so what you have to say, how many of them wouldn't rant and try to slag you off uh, for what you say? Not many, I fear, not many. Crazy stuff, crazy day. Thanks for watching. I know this video is not special. Thanks, honey.